Okay, welcome to Speedy Speed Run. I'm Pseudonym, and this is the first match to the finals. We have Random Guy versus Dansta, um, and, and it is a double elimination tournament, although we're doing this slightly differently, where it's basically triple elimination in this case. So, I mean, everybody else lost twice in his own, but so far, once. And, das war was? Mm -hmm. and uh sorry so random guy needs to win twice in order for dance to have losses in order for random guy so i believe we are just having this one race today so i'm misremembering and then there will be another race another time and yeah so there We're both starting on Mario Kart Stadium. Um, first track, I believe they're both on physical. I mean, neither of them have an offset on their timer, so yeah. I think Hydra was the only digital runner in the tournament. It doesn't matter in this case. If you didn't know, uh, digital is like 50 seconds faster, so we do an offset. Okay. So, it will be starting in a second now. We got the countdown going. All right. And the first match at the finals is underway. Uh, doesn't look like they started. Could be. <laughs> okay, there we go. I might be a little bit behind, but that's okay. So, going into Mario Kart Stadium is the first track in the game. Um, there's not that much stuff here. There's probably a couple shortcuts they'll go for, though, or a couple NISCs. No item shortcuts, which are pretty easy to do. Uh, okay, we might have to restart, actually. Yeah, we, I think we need to reset. Dance that has smart steering. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to reset for that. Um, yeah. I mean, that's okay, I guess. Because, I mean, you notice that right at the start, so. Oh, well. Okay, we just need to get uh, Random's attention. Yeah. It's the saying his girlfriend was just playing before, so he's on smart steering. Well, it's alright, but we just gotta make sure Random knows. all good. Um, we're just getting things set up. Not too big of a deal. Alright, we got the countdown going again. And this time, dance. Well, wait, random is. N um. Okay. <laughs> so they're probably gonna start kind of offset here, but unless I'm behind. Okay. Might be behind on viewing, but whatever. I guess they're both gonna start at the same time then. 
All right, there they go. Oh, uh, Mario Kart Stadium again. Um, so Dansta realized he had smart steering on when he tried to perform the first NISC. So I can point that out here. It's right near the start of the track. And it's pretty easy to do in 200, but maybe a little difficult to save time with. Maybe Dan's did a little better there, although the, the, the difference right now is probably just okay, honestly. Um, anyways, Random has the better PV. Um, makes sense. He is, yeah, he is the one seed in the tournament and made it here through the winner's bracket. So... So yeah, Dansta does have to win more, like I said, in order to win overall. But Dansta, yeah, so Dansta has 132.49, Random has 129.41, so a fairly large PB deficit is possible for Dansta to win, though. Dansta's doing slightly better here still, because Random messed up the NISC again, although that was a nice cut in the grass. Actually, both of those were pretty nice for random. Yes. Pretty high level, in general. Okay, so next is uh, Water Park, yeah. And the track is... Uh, I don't know, it's not really that interesting for me, but... They aren't any NISCs, I don't I don't think, but more like water drifting, I guess is cool. Oh, random got a bad hop on the on the steps at the start. Dance this was better, so giving him a slightly bigger lead. And random just kind of jumps through there. I think Dance that did slightly different, although I could be wrong if I wasn't looking close enough. Dance has got maybe like two or three seconds in lead right now. Although, I'm not sure. I think Dance that might have just tricked off of that, which is slower. Although, I'll, I'll look for it this lap. And Dance that did trick off of that ramp. I don't think faster. Oh, uh oh. Random's gonna catch up there. Uh, mistake from Dansta, they're basically even now. Yeah, Dansta did the did a trick there, and you can almost tell. I mean, uh, it, it didn't make much of a difference, honestly. But Random just drifted off, yeah. Okay, they're basically even now, because. Uh, Random hit that sign. Although, whatever, they're basically even. Alright. Oh, sweet, sweet canyon. The third race, or third Rennen for random in German. Although, I, I assume, I'm pretty sure. They're both German speakers, but maybe that's not true. But Dansta is in English. Not really surprised, but yeah. it doesn't make a difference. Or I haven't heard that it makes a difference. It wouldn't surprise me to know to to think that, but as far as I know, language doesn't matter. Um. And Random already took quite a lead on that first lap. And so is so doing the strat with the glider though, um, where you can hop before you get onto the glider ramp. Wait, glider cannon, that's what I meant. So any glider cannon, you can hop before you get onto it, and and then you save like 0.1 seconds. Just as opposed to tricking, because it like pulls you forward earlier or something, or you get the speed earlier. 
I'm not really sure te the technic or the the technicalities of it, I guess, but yeah. And taken purple path, of course. Um, much better race there from random, but oh, it didn't slow going into the red there. Uh, it doesn't mean too much right now. It's also it's like five seconds right now, so. That doesn't mean much. It says, of course, 48 tracks. So we got 45 more. And Thwomp Ruins is going to be probably the hardest track so far, which doesn't mean too much either, but, you know, still is the last Mushroom Cup uh, track. Oh, Dan Stum missed the ramp, sort of hit the right side of it, but it's kind of. Uh, clipped over it. Or like, didn't didn't get the top of it, I guess. That's what I should say. And random is is like doing the strat, holding a drift onto, like, yeah, it instantly did the same thing. Like holding a drift and drifting onto that ramp near the end. Oh, Dansta missed that one again. Yeah, that's easy to do in my opinion. At least he missed to the right both times, so he's not gonna like fall off into the void. Yeah. And so, that was just yeah, not great. Random's definitely got a much bigger lead now. Oh, maybe not a little bit bigger. <clears throat> Random looked like he hit a wall there too. I think I'm playing perfectly. But nice water drift there from Random and I just. Um, drifting a second time in the water too, and getting the trick off the ramp is pretty good. Insta did not get as good of movement in that section because he missed the ramp, which is very easy to do for some reason. Because it's it's like re really weird for him. All right, so probably closer to ten seconds now. Um, the uh, Thwomp Runes was a good bit better for dance, or no, for random. Uh, oh, circuit, we sh should see and look at how much. Oh, okay, at the Goomba. Uh oh. And see how much um, we see Waluigi's head moving, because that can indicate like your soft drifting. I don't know too much about it, but. Um, looking at, I mean, looking at his head, of course, you can see sort of what, what way you're facing and dancing getting the grass there. That turns easy to overestimate. You can see for random, while we just had his sort of barely moving in the turns, but it's moving a lot more for Dansta, which I would expect they definitely are, at, have sort of a skill gap or experience at least, I think. So, because uh, like soft drifting and keeping the same angle throughout the turn is faster, like every turn pretty much, but it's harder to do for most people, probably for everybody. And da yeah, Dance is definitely struggling on this track because it seems really easy usually, but then I guess you can just overestimate the corners, sort of, or underestimate. Oh, uh, Ram said he's never hit that Goomba before. Yeah, that happened at the start of the race. Uh, that was kind of a weird mistake. I suppose it's it's probably RNG, but I'm not even sure if that's true, but yeah. You guys gotta be careful for that. And again, Random definitely extended his lead, I want to say, on that one. Uh, okay, so went for that boost panel to the left, but had to like make sure he had a he was turning right, sort of, when he hit it, because so he could get on this on the bridge. Because otherwise, like if you go off that ramp um, at zero coins, like you don't. You don't have distance to make it all the way across. And like on 150, you would hit the second ramp, but I think in 200, you're too fast and it's just, it's, uh, it's problematic. But random is now at 10, so 
still doing the same strat with going to the right, but um, you could probably make it just going straight. Although that's probably slightly slower. Yeah, but that's what Dan's did just did, and that actually did. I wouldn't really lose any time, honestly. There's that hidden boost panel over there that you don't even want to use, but Insta used it. Um, it kind of saves you, I guess, if, if you hit a pole like Densta did there. Alright, so it, um, strategy, yeah, here, you want to go on, on the sort of on that right path past this bazaar. You know, this this reminds me of Shy Guy Bazaar. I would I would not use the word bizarre otherwise, but yeah, um, the right path just seems slower. I feel like it's probably slower than 150, but or not. I guess it is faster than 200. I mean, I know it is, and you get that boost panel. And it's kind of difficult if you don't know what you're doing though. Right, so Danza went in the red there by like a second or two. It looked like. But he's basically even. That that sort of time is a race is is not much. The lead, on the other hand, oh, Dance or er, let me say the right names. Random hit, um, a boo there, and that has happened to me too. Um, which is really weird because I'm pretty sure in the world record they said like you start with the right path so you don't hit the boos. But like, I, I've i hit it and random just did so, I don't know, probably doing something wrong, honestly. And those are, it's so weird that the booze have a collision, but I'll just And they're both doing that top path, which is definitely harder. I, it looked so close, like I thought Random was gonna miss the top path there, or like hit the ledge, but it was pretty much perfect, or if, at least it uh, right, hit the right spot, and Dansta was technically slightly worse there, but he didn't hit the wall or anything, so that's okay. And this is, of course, um, I guess inspired by Luigi's Mansion, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there is like a Luigi's Mansion track on another game, I think, but on DS maybe, but this is basically, I don't know. Though I guess it's sort of just like the ghost levels and like the new Super Mario Bros. games. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool how there's there's tracks inspired by their games. I like that. Maybe I'll try to point out some of the ones that I remember. But this is Shy Guy Falls, and this is definitely not inspired by another game because Shy Guy. I don't know. And something to note. Well, let's see if Random goes for this NIS because that would definitely be something to note. Ooh, that was really good. That NISC is pretty tough. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool that he, he nailed it. He didn't even hit any grass. But what I was gonna say is something to note when going up the waterfall is that they're gonna be hopping, or it's faster at least, in theory. So as Random is doing right now, hopping a little, because you avoid the current sorta because the current i mean it's clear to see that the current does push you back in that section but you might not probably wouldn't think to actually hop over it but, but yeah and um look for how Dansa does this ending the slap because he's going for significantly different strats but still going for the nisc i'm just assuming that that makes the nisc easier for him i mean that, that makes perfect sense to me, and that might be maybe faster than doing the normal way. Honestly, it's probably about the same considering 
going up to the top path is definitely slower, but it's not bad. He's executing it fairly well, so we'll see if this one's good. Hitting the wall barely, but not really a big deal. Yeah, that was pretty good, honestly. Not too bad. Although they're about, it looked like 17 seconds before, or heart fight, I don't know. But they're sec 17 seconds apart, if I remember their numbers right, so yeah. Definitely much more significantly, but still not too much. They're getting slightly desynced, but that's okay. So that's just me. Um, did... Okay, that was on me. I thought the stream died. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect. Anyways, this is Sunshine Airport, and it's a pretty fun track. It's in the, the Star Cup, the first track in the Star Cup, which is probably the best cup in the game, in my opinion. And it has... Um, Secret glider cannon. Oh, you dance to hit that. Uh, panel. I don't think that's faster. But yeah, this is a glider cannon. Even though there's no cannon, so you can hop, as I said. And oh, dance to hop there too. Um, we just doesn't make a difference hopping there. I could be wrong. Let's see if random hops on this on this uh, last one. Oh yeah, oh, okay, so maybe that is faster. They both do it, I'm probably the one who doesn't know. <laughs> so... I don't know that Random extended his lead at all there. Wouldn't surprise me this track, I would consider it pretty easy for speedrunning. Random may have made a mistake that I missed or something. I feel like Dan's still made up time there, but I could be off on my count. So now this track is probably a bit more interesting for speedrunning purposes. This is Dolphin Shoals. There's some 200cc skips, sort of. Um, you can see that sort of one just going over this cavern, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Just like a... A trench, that's probably the thing you call it. Oh, there's a glider shortcut. Okay. It's kind of messed up hitting some out of bounds there, but it's alright. Oh, random jumps so high up there that you couldn't even hit the first tube of air. Like her first pipe, that's what it is. Also, Dance does jumping over those ramps, which is, I don't I think that's slower. But it definitely feels faster. Honestly it feels really slow just striding through the water like doing nothing else, but I don't know. You see that time random had a better middle trench section there. And maybe, it seems like maybe Random has has made up more ground on this track. Um, there was only really like the one mistake. There's the one time off road a little bit, other than that, just one really small mistake. Okay, next track is I I lost connection, but I think uh, I oh Electrodrome. Yes, and now I should see random guys on it. Um and this track again I would consider it quite easy. Um not I mean I would say it's pretty rare for like fall off you could get hit by a piranha plant, although it really shouldn't happen, and 
kind of weird, like, it's kind of weird going on the far inside. It doesn't always feel faster, so, yeah. And definitely, this track should have some soft drifts, I think. Yeah, Densa kind of go out of bounds there, probably. Try to go for a soft drift or something. Because a lot of times could happen. Densa is at two coins here, which is definitely worth mentioning. Um, on lap two, halfway through, already at, just got the third coin, that's it. Because coins definitely do make you faster. And although it might be hard to tell, it's 10 coins optimal. So, it's definitely going to be losing time on this track, I think. At least still within like 25 seconds, maybe. Wow, this is so close to falling off there. And yeah, it did not pay off because hitting the wall there. But not the worst. Alright, and now we have Mount Wario. Nice nice start there from random. I find that pretty difficult myself. Um but this track is a lot of people's favorites. Definitely not my favorite on 200, but it's pretty cool. Um, there was that shortcut on the first segment, which is sort of easy, but sort of hard. Dansa hit the wall. So we'll see if Dansa can get the shortcut perfectly. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, going for the trick, and I'm pretty sure Random went for just just drifting off and then getting a boost when it landed, which I think is probably faster, but I but it makes much of a difference. That's like so many things like any individual tricks that they do slightly different, it will probably make hardly any difference. Like but like the lines need to be perfect and stuff actually to win it's, it's just uh, uh, so close with everything in this game it's probably maybe a couple seconds off on each track but that could add up to like two minutes so it depends I'll see if dance does behind here because I'm gonna assume that he's running against his PB I mean couldn't really guarantee that but He's been showing some red earlier, and... Oh, okay. Went into the red for less than two seconds there. So, you know, that's a good sign. Being two seconds off PB at this point is pretty good. Of course, that's not as good as randoms, though. So... If... Insta plays at PB pace... You know, random needs to make three minutes of mistakes. It's, so that's kind of tough, but it's very possible because that's only like three seconds per track. So we are now in Cloudtop Cruise, by the way, which is my favorite track. Although 200 is not so much fun. Yeah, not at all. Um, it's a uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 themed, I think. Um, sorry, I am having technical difficulties. Now I can see it again. Good. So, this section is, is kind of annoying on 200 that the Insta's on. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's difficult to. I mean, everything comes down to cycles, so if you're actually really good, then you would know what to do, but for me, it's kind of hard to 
get those cycles on 200 and to get as many boosts as possible. So, yeah. I'll see if Dan still can do it better than me here. You barely. Okay, that was pretty good. I do think that on 200, it might be slower to go to the outside, which is kind of weird. Like on this, on that section, but I don't know. Dan still did it well there. Random does that NISC at the start. That's cool. I have not tried that personally. Doesn't look all that hard really. And but this track is quite difficult. Uh, we are of course in the special cup, starting with Cloud Top Cruise. It's the most difficult cup. Definitely. I think uh, people agree on that. I mean lightning's pretty hard too. But yeah, this is tough. Because this track has near the section dance that was on, or where, where random is coming up, it's 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 really bumpy. So that drift is really annoying, and it's hard to get those those um spinners, or whatever gravity spinners there. Oh, random got a lot of air there. That definitely was not intentional. It's pretty much what I was talking about. Um, it's bumpy around there too. And yeah, those anti-gravity spinners are kind of hard to hit. Although, if you miss it doesn't lose a lot of time. Because it's just going in a straight line. And Dansta is at, at three coins? Uh, on lap three? That's pretty bad. If he keeps, keeps stuff up keeps up stuff like that, um, he's gonna lose a lot of time. Because random finish with 10. Although, I'll admit this is... It's hard to get coins here, so... I can't be too... Can't be too hard on it. Hmm. But going out of bounds there... Oh, it was barely in the red at the end. So, I, I suppose this is 132 pace for Densta, because he's right on peep, right even with his PB just about. So, it's pretty good. That means Random's probably on 131 pace, but it's a rough estimate at this point. They're still within a lap of each other, which is very respectable for Densta. I mean, it would be quite the upset if Densta did beat random, especially if Dansta won like overall, winning three times, that would be pretty awesome, or like, you know, pretty surprising too, because he's definitely an underdog, but he's uh, so, of course known for Odyssey running, as I'm sure you all know. Got some anti-game runners. That's like half the people in the tournament. So yeah. And I haven't even talked about Bowser's Castle. It is like a very hard trek. And I saw Random do a shortcut in like the lap four or something, which um, on the two platforms by Bowser, which was pretty cool. And Dance uh, almost almost uh lapping the I'm sorry. Random is almost lapping Dance to there. And given that their clocks are slightly desynced, he probably did lap Dance to there. Which doesn't actually mean anything, but obviously it means that he's he's going farther ahead. It's that's okay. So now, Random is on... Oh, Dance does way more in the red this time. That's, that's, that's interesting. I guess something bad happened on Bowser's Castle and I missed it, maybe? Um, so now Rainbow Road is the hardest track. It's one of... Okay, it's not... It's 
one of the hardest tracks. I, I don't. That's not what I want to say. What I want to say is that it's the last track in uh, Nitrous. Yeah, <laughs> that's the word. It's the last track in Nitrous, sixteenth, uh, and it is quite difficult. It might not actually be the hardest track. It it kind of is. Uh, although Dansta managed to stay alive there, the second turn is is like on two hundred. It's so hard to survive. Um, in, in my opinion, like you could definitely get good at it, obviously, but I think anyone would agree it's it's at the very least it's one of the most difficult turns to just not die on with like no interference, you know. On two hundred, that is one fifty. It's not a problem. But I don't think there's really anything like that in 150, like on 200, there's lots of stuff where it's just, you gotta break drift a lot. And yeah, this track is it's a pretty long track as well. I know I incorrectly said before that it was the longest, though it's because I remember it being like the last one to get up two minutes in 150 time trials, but yeah, that was my mistake, but I'm sure it's still up there, but there's something longer than I don't actually know. I'm not I'm not the most involved with this game, but I know a thing or two. So um random is on to the retros. Looking at like the map of tracks, it's it's kinda weird you go across the four nitro tracks on top and then you go down to four retros, and then you do like the last four bonus tracks, like top left, bottom left, top right, mm. bottom right, which is kind of weird, but that's sort of how they got introduced in the game. Anyways, Random is now going to be looking like he's he's uh, a well over lapping, lapping and dance stuff, and I'm sure he probably made up ground in Rainbow Road. I. Uh, Moo Moo Meadows is very short. Um, nitro tracks are the longest tracks in general. So I I did not note their nitro time, which I probably should have, but Dance would have been around like 32 flat, maybe a bit less depending on split, and Rams probably like 30 seconds ahead. So yeah, PB is, is definitely on the table for Dance I mean course because he's been showing based on the splits that we can see that it's pretty close <laughs> I think anyone would have realized that and uh, didn't, uh, uh, random's time actually going into the blue there so I guess he just doesn't have red but what that tells me is that he's also very close to his PB perhaps closer than dance star right now so that's pretty exciting I mean, that's bad news for Dance Star, which, because that makes random on like 129 pace, but. Yeah. And Dance is singing at 3149 nitros, okay. And he does split on and he crosses the finish line, which I, I guess that's normal. So I probably don't even have to say that. It's just not what I do. Okay, it is barely in the red there. Pretty good. We see a Nisk here from random. Not bad. Uh, actually, not. Not great, but another NISC there, maybe a little better. But, and the small cut there, um, that one was not great, I don't think. Maybe it's mildly sloppy so far through, through Mario Circuit. Uh, I, I, uh, I, um, he like buffered a bit there, but. I'm assuming because of, you know, twisting the camera back and forth, he, he did not do that other NISC well. He's in the gra or in the in the sand. Ay -ay -ay. Um, yeah, not having lapped Dansta anymore. Oh wait, yes, having lapped Dansta by almost two laps. Wait, how did that happen? Um. Yeah, okay, so actually the difference is maybe a bit more than I thought at this point. But Random was definitely in the blue by a few seconds there. 
too much. He's uh, uh, abusing his camera roll a little bit, but it looked like earlier he's out of video storage, so <laughs> maybe been, uh, practicing a lot, getting some rage videos in. Oh, uh oh, the Insta in the grass too, much more in the red. Not a very good uh, GBA Mario circuit for either of them, evidently. That could have been a chance for Dan still to gain some ground, but not really happening. And yeah, clearly over a lap behind now is Random already in the second lap. He's going to be like a whole lap and a half ahead, basically. Even more, perhaps. Less than a minute. It's not too bad at this point. There's still a lot of the game left to play, because this is still Shell Cup. Um, yeah, early in Rutgers, Shell Cup. And this was a third um, track, yeah. So next, I think, is maybe Toad's Turnpike, I think is next, and then Dry Dry Desert. I'll be happy if I'm actually right about the track order. Might be. <laughs> I kind of don't know. Oh, another capture from random. Uh oh, oh. Oh no, Dansta. Well, that's pretty bad. That was a lot of collisions. Hey, I was right about at least the first one, Toad's Turnpike. So, um, definitely not the easiest track out there. Probably the hardest. Okay, probably not the hardest. I don't know why I said that again. But, difficult. Um, the thing is, unlike, like, Rainbow Road, it's not, like, difficult to drive, you know? But it's, it's difficult just because of... All the like NPCs, all not NPCs, like just cards and stuff. This is obviously, I don't know why I'm uh, being so long to say this, but Random got the good pattern there, so he took the the um, glider through the middle. So that's good. Um, maybe Dance to got the good pattern as well. Yes, I think so. Maybe. Um, a good start from them. Pretty solid tones turnpike. I gotta check in, check on both and see if neither of them hit any cars. Dansa is definitely taking some safe lines there, but not, it's alright. Um, Brandon was, Brandon was not far into the blue there. So, yeah, uh, no cars hit, I don't think I very easily could have missed something with looking at two. Okay, well, there is a car. Also, it was dry, dry desert, so it was right again. Let's go. Um, there, and Dan Slay is getting some UMTs on this track, which is usually good. It's, oh, okay. Yeah, that was a questionable turn there. Or, oh, oh no, uh, I saw that coming. This is pretty bad. He's hit three cars now. It's so easy to, especially once you just hit one and you keep hitting others. Yeah. No, uh, he was not expecting that. So, he's going farther in the red, but probably only like plus 10. So still recoverable and we can look at random shortcut here um i didn't mention it first lap but after this after this um oasis here um check out what he does uh, excuse me okay that didn't look great but didn't cut off a lot there Oh, this is going to the left side. Interesting choice. Usually seeing the right side. 
but it's probably fine. And Dinsta's not going for the shortcut. Oh, wait. Oh, I was wrong. Mm. No, he didn't drift into it, so it was probably slower than what Random did, but we still sleep this time. Yeah, Random did pretty well there. And yeah, it goes into light blue and then dark blue. I don't quite understand that, but I think Random's... Oh, forgot to split maybe, but not too far behind. And aim for dance time. But of course, in this game, you can always be very close to your PB and still be, still have it be very hard to come back. That is true. Because you can usually only make up a few seconds on each track, or or less. And there is a cool shortcut now, because um, random is on. Um, Dono Planes 3, yeah, almost forgot. And we can see him doing the shortcut here. It's coming up right now. In the ocean. <laughs> Not ocean, but, you know, cutting off some of the bridge, whatever. I said that in, like, the worst way, but, yeah, whatever. You get the picture. You can see it one more time on the third lap. And he is already on the third lap. Dansta is just starting. It's worth noting that this is definitely one of the shortest courses there is, but still, um, building his lead. That's for sure. Dansta is doing that shortcut too. Honestly, they it seems kind of easy, so we should probably try that. <laughs> um, or maybe they just make it look easy. It's just, Practice it a lot. Yeah. But that's pretty good for Dan's. That could have been slightly better. Also, mess up the next turn, but yeah, pretty good trick. And now we are moving on to, to uh, Royal Raceway. This track is sort of difficult on 200 I mean it's not really true but it does require a lot of brake drifting but I think people would agree that it's um, not as bad as on Rainbow Road like the turn is much easier here but this this turn here that Random is doing now although he did that uh, very well sometimes I like to hit the the wall and like boost right before that so it, like right after it and that works pretty well but we'll see what sort of strategy Dansta goes for probably, probably not as hard as I'm making it out to be but that's been pretty much the most interesting thing about this track I think yeah, very well executed from Dansta be better than random even there is that ramp in the middle but is slower I suppose <laughs> Evidently, because don't go for it, and I'm sure Random would go for that if it was faster. Okay. Um. Right, I apologize. I need to drop out for a second. Oh, All right. I'm back. Reconnected. So. Random is moving on in the Banana Cup, of course. DK Jungle. Wow, did I just now realize that DK's course is in the Banana Cup? I'm glad that Nintendo did that and I did not even connect that. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. I'm glad. Uh, Those Turnpike was the end of the Shell Cup. That doesn't really have any, any meaning, I guess. But... There's literally a big banana right there. <laughs> it's the last banana cup track. Well, you'd think I would have noticed, but. <laughs> Insta is more in the red here. Not terrible though. Oh wait, I understand. 
the light blue is just when random is behind, but dark blue is when he lost time on that track. I don't know how he didn't. I, I, I would have realized if it was red, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, it's the same thing for Dan's does. That makes sense. Oh, uh oh. Random falling off there. Yeah. It buffered a little, so I so I just saw when he was already off, but I assume he just tried to cut that a little bit too short, uh, sharp, which could happen, but I'm a bit surprised that happened on that turn, to be honest. Um, this track is it's fairly difficult, I would say, but... see that dark blue and I'm losing more time it's always interesting when runners use different things with their splits such as just different fonts or something like that or in this case different color of time gloss which I think a lot of people do that because red is like a negative or something and blue just seems like not as bad, I don't know, like, it's, it's um, different colors have feelings, different feelings. I don't know if I would, I don't think I would do that personally, but it is, of course, just that personal preference. And Dansa is in time on this track, but about seven seconds off PB from the looks of it. bad at all and that is actually halfway point it's because that was 24 tracks right um and the back half will be faster unless they're just bad but they but you know what i have more faith in them than that they're gonna have a good back half um and track is Wario Stadium and I think it's a very fun track in my opinion in 200 um so maybe disagrees with me he's hit the wall but there's there's uh sometimes you don't trick <laughs> off of boost panels but um This ramp is like where Dan's design is like the most annoying part of it, probably. Oh, Dan's almost did uh, the impossible and went out of bounds on this track. Although I've definitely done that, but it's like it was dumb when that happens because it's that's it's like one of those tracks where you can only go out of bounds if you do something like really wrong. <laughs> Just what? Do it. It is, it is uh, possible, but oh, it doesn't happen. <laughs> and Dansa is drifting off of that high up thing there, which is faster, I think. It's a bit tricky to, to do that and then land correctly, but. Also, now Random is in Sherbet Land. He kind of messed up that first turn and lost his boost um, by clipping the snow just barely. Looked a bit unfortunate there. It was close, but but it's okay. Dent got a MT there, I think. That's pretty good. And Dent Keeping the pace, this PB as he's same spot he's been at for a while. Really, Random's got that low trick there at the end. It's it's like so like clearly faster when you see it done. Like jumping to that last place where you can that last ramp, like getting a low boost. It's really satisfying. 
um, just like not getting a lot of air but still getting a trick is what I mean. And Random is cutting on the right side there. Um, a little bit scary route because you could fall in the ice but you know he's practiced. Vansa is not having a lot of coins and he went underwater. Though that didn't go bad at all. That, that probably didn't lose much time at all because he didn't hit any walls or anything. Although that's not ideal to go in the water. And Random Guy is on Music Park. I know he likes this track because it has a piano. It's a pretty cool track. Too bad I can't hear the music, but it's okay. That was... I doubt that can be faster. Random going over the going over the keys that are a bit higher there. Um, I don't know what those are called on the actual keyboard, but anyways, they, they kind of stick up and give you air, so I doubt they're faster. Maybe they are, because they are on the inside. Densa is underwater, and that is not good. In the water. And Random is going to be almost track ahead, I guess. Oh, looks like he almost got through the ceiling, because you can like clip through here, and it's kind of weird. So... Having a preserve every, every once in a while, but I only got confused because he was like spamming the reverse camera and I thought I missed something, but I didn't think so. And they are still on the same track at least, so you know, within three laps of each other. Oh, did Random just get hit by one of those missing music notes? Maybe, that's not good. I'm not really not happy with that music park. Dance the miss that trick there. You can like trick right when the the uh, music notes, whatever, the ground. But I guess it is pretty hard to time. I mean if you can't see them then you, know, you just gotta gotta know. It's kinda hard. And Random just went over that bridge, which is the fastest route in 200 in Yoshi Valley. Um, yeah, I was just talking about the big section with the big music notes, but it's faster to fly. I forgot that. Must have, that must have been what Random's problem was, too. <laughs> he just missed the glider ramp, because Dance did, did that, too. I didn't even think about it, but yeah. It looks like Insta is farther behind PB now, fortunately. And farther behind in terms of the actual race, of course. But it's not over yet. We still have 40 minutes left, roughly. Likely less for... Maybe less for both of them. Hopefully. That would be cool. For random, likely. And this track is interesting because there is a different route that's faster on 150. I don't even remember what it is, but I know it's different because when I did 150 it was at the bridge route. So I'm completely wrong, but I doubt. I'm pretty sure about that. So, but there's different stuff based on coins too. And it's, oh, there's another hour with Mark coins, that's what I meant. But Densa did that quite well. Didn't trick off the bridge, but held a drift onto it. Looked like a quite tight line. Pretty well executed. If it is indeed faster. Well, regardless, pretty well executed. And 
I should mention that this is a lightning cup. Um, so there's the leaf cup and then the lightning cup. I think she values first. Oh, TikTok clock is first in the lightning cup, I think. I think Yoshi Valley is still Leaf Cup. So, lightning's kind of hard too. There's also, yeah, Prana Plant Slide, um, 64 Rainbow Road, and something else. Maybe it is Yoshi Valley, but anyways, random did, random went across the block hand there at the end. So, that's actually it's probably not particularly difficult uh, excuse me uh difficult on left two uh oh um he took a pause there like it i mean it's probably not any worse than taking a death but uh, a bit frustrated maybe dance that can make up some ground on tiktok lock it's okay so far at clearly in the dark blue for a few seconds, not good. I I should check how close they are to PB after these laps. Uh oh, wow, that was. I said did that on lap one. Nice. Didn't even do that in the world record. Though he did get a lot of air, so maybe that's why it's not. It's not good with air. And here. Unlike Music Park, just don't take the glider. And I feel like it's the opposite 150. Um, so I'm gonna be wrong on this course, but not Music Park, I don't think. So, yeah. Um, oh, that Prana Plant Slide. Okay, I, s I said that. <laughs> So uh, what random is on. Um and look like we, we uh, I was like looking at both. One of them just fell off, I don't even know <laughs> I don't know, I got disoriented. Um look like maybe dance to save time there, because I don't think it went in dark red. And probably had a better TikTok clock than random in that case. Oh that was random like kind of bounced there. Ooh, and went in the off-road. No, he's had a lot of rage captures. It's, it's, I think, not even that far off PB, like, considering that. Um, but maybe the dance is making up a little bit of ground. Going for left side, um, far left. Thing in the air, <laughs> whatever to call those for dancing. And then far right boost, all really interesting. Didn't even look like random was in dark blue that time, so must have been really bad in this PB as well. It is, it is a difficult track. Like, oh, Grumble Volcano, of course. I forgot. I always forget that course. Uh, it's Mark Up Mario Kart Wii and um, Lightning Cup. No, Mario Kart Wii. Pretty cool looking course, to be honest. Um, Random is doing the glider strats. Uh, uh, that's faster, I almost forgot. Ooh, that was weird. Strategy there. Tried to just cut off a little bit, but that line looked like impossible to make. While Dance is still finishing out Prana Plant Slide, um, definitely did fall off once, so leave me some time. Maybe played better than Random. It's kind of hard for me to say. Looking like seven ish seconds off his PB. Just been for a while. And I'm probably a bit farther off. So on lap three of Grumble Volcano. 
which has the least amount of land left because um, the rest has just been swallowed up by lava. So, so we'll see if Waluigi is it going to swallowed up by lava. Hopefully not. And randomly through actually is not that far behind. Uh, he looks only like seven seconds behind by the looks of when when his time rolling blue. If if they are comparing to their PB, they're both only about seven seconds. So that's pretty exciting. And of course, if that's the case, then Random's gonna be much quite a bit ahead. So let's see how this plays out. Oh, N64 Rainbow Road um, is technically it's optimal to start with this course. It's not a big thing. Wow, Dense is saying a golden Grumble Volcano by 8 seconds. <laughs> that's not have done a lot of uh, times on it, but that's really good. So he's probably ahead then. Um, I probably shouldn't have said that because that's like well ahead of where my screen capture is. Or where what I can see, but spoilers, I guess. Anyways, uh, N64 Rainbow Road is you can't get a lot of coins on it, so it's technically good to start with it since you start with five coins, but it doesn't make a big difference, so just doing it here. Um, very short track because it's three segments. Um, 10103 32 track for random. Um, not far behind PB at all. A uh, very respectable time. It's good sub 130. Now going into bonus tracks, the last 16 tracks in the game, a whole track behind now. Um, so getting further and farther apart is going to be very difficult for Dan to catch up at this point. Because this is probably like a minute and 40 seconds apart, and there is just the 16 retros. I would not say that is over just yet. It's still 16 tracks. Ooh, that's er, random. I'm sorry. Cuts like outside of the prana plant there and still didn't get hit, so kind of weird there. See, so, yeah, hopefully, we don't see any falls on Rainbow Road. You do see a lot of airtime there, which is not great, but not a lot you can really do about that. It's, it's kind of easy to like underestimate turns here on Rainbow Road, kind of like in Mario Circuit, even though they're, on the other hand, they're like the easiest tracks ever. Because like, compared to the the first Rainbow Road, like, these turns you don't have to break drift as much, or like, maybe not at all. I mean, you can stay on the inside, you know. And look at what Random's doing right now. That was a... Pretty cool NISC. Didn't mention it the first two laps, but pretty sure you got it all three laps. Pretty cool waterfall cut sort of thing. I don't know if that's what it's called. Probably not. <laughs> I don't think most of these really have names. Or I just don't know them. But yeah, over... Oh, a burnout. I don't think I've seen that yet. Oh, and random is only like a second behind now. Wow. This is exciting. Uh, but it's a... Um, it's not... Bad start to bonus, that's for sure. Burnout, the... Oh, man. I was I'm glad that he didn't get hit by a piranha there. Eh? I was worried about that. Because that was not a good line into the grass. And... Random is now in an excite by Karina. So... You will be trying to avoid those uh, boost panels because they are not fast here. Because apparently you don't want air time here. I think it would feel counterintuitive to many regular players, but that's just how 200 CC is. Um, nice dance to get that NISC. Um, remember, P got that before. Look, he didn't go for it every lap, but could be wrong. 
not going for the drift strat there though, but that'd be cool. Only getting up to eight coins just now. Not great. Oh, but randoms doesn't have that much either. It's kind of hard to get coins in Excite, but random, kind of, but random should probably have more. And again, still like a whole track apart, even more than a whole track apart. I mean, they're gonna need, they're gonna need like ten seconds per track at this point for Dansta to come back. Maybe, maybe like eight or something. Maybe not ten. But looking more and more unlikely. Ooh, dance a maybe some hit in the oils look there a little bit. And the boost panel. Probably oh, not what he wanted. A UMT there. Uh, oh no, random. Messed up Nisk. That is a tough one. Um, although it's not really hard to, if you if you have a good line going into that NISC, then it's not so hard to make it. But if you don't, then it's uh, pretty tough. I mean, you you need a good line. That's the point. Um, oh, he's doing it right here. Nice. It's a weird one because when you land, you sort of gotta hold your drift a little bit. And then, so you can actually, because you don't even have a regular mini turbo built up, so it's kind of weird. It's random, this is a pretty good expert. Oh, wow. Yeah, Dan says not doing so well in Excite Bike Arena right now, to be honest. Looks well, like, looked about like four seconds. Which for that track is pretty bad because you should be pretty controlled on that track, but didn't go his way this time. Um, now, uh, yeah, and starting Dragon Driftway is race 35. It's worth mentioning there's uh, only 13 more tracks. So this will be the last track, the A Cup, um, which of course because we started with Yoshi Circuit, which is from Double Dash, but of course, egg for Yoshi. And we finish it with Mute City, which um, is an F Zero theme track, which of course was Nintendo Racing Series, which has not had a game in a while, but Mute City is a. Uh, it's now in this game, so it's pretty cool. Never played an FCR game myself, but they are very high speed, high pace, and this track uh, is lower gravity, so kind of quick. And random did they shortcut there? Sort of froze during it, but it's a pretty cool shortcut and because you can just kind of hold back because you're in anti gravity the whole time and you got a lot of speed, so you can just kind of. Jump over a big gap, hold back on the controller, and you just just fly. It's right here. Yeah, pretty cool. Maybe not perfect, but pretty good. Mute City is actually three laps. The next F0 track that we'll get to will have three segments. And... Um... Yeah, Dansa's still like a whole track behind. Might be starting this before random finishes? No, not really. About the same distance. So, as you can see, random hit a couple boosts there. Kind of scary, um, that, but yeah. Uh, and I think these boosts at the start can actually change spots a little. Like, I don't think they're always, I don't think all of them are always at the same spot, but. Almost low line. Ooh. It's at the wall. Got the CPU bump too, not in first place. Oh, he's not getting the coins. Um, I'm not sure if he knows. Uh, I thought those were faster. Oh, nice. Nice. 
pretty good shortcut right there. And I should go over check on random in Wario's Gold Mine now. And in the Bell Cup? No, 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 <laughs> no. Bell Cup is Lost Cup. Of course not. Triforce Cup. Triforce Cup. Yeah, that sounds right. So that has his gold mine. Um, oh no, Dancer. Death's not going to be able to do the shortcut because of it. That's very unfortunate. But even just doing that, you can skip so much of it. Like, no point doing all those turns when you can just fly over everything, right? So, as I was saying, this this cup will conclude with Hyrule Circuit, and this I'm completely wrong, but it could be Hyrule Circuit, because of course it is the Triforce Cup, and this DLC came with Link as a playable character, and like his um, cart combos, uh, and it still did not go into the red there, I don't think, so it's on good pace. Anyways. Uh, I think it has Ice Ice Outpost, and yeah, yeah, not completely sure. Not sure what the next track will be, that's what I'll say. <laughs> Probably should, but I don't play enough to remember. Oh, yes, Sinius Rainbow Road, forgot. Um, this track is pretty fun, I think. It's cycle based. And um, if you mess up on the first lap, it's really detrimental because your cycles are off for the rest of the race. So you might have to readjust some of your things. And in my opinion, it's it's not well. It's definitely difficult, but I think like making the cycles at least is not super difficult. Like compared to some other tracks like uh, like Cloudtop Cruise, I think I mentioned. I mean, those are like super precise, but these are not too bad. When Dinsta did a little hop over the ramp there while holding the drift, so looked kind of fast. Oh, barely did not fall off there. For Dance though, but there would have been another one of those hidden boost panels there, like in Shy Guy Bazaar, which I mean it's slower. Maybe not as bad on 150, but yeah. Oh no, saw that coming. No, Dance though though. Really fall. Also, it looked like random only went in the blue by like a second there. And if, if that's true, and I didn't just look over right there, then that's really good. No, Dance though. Barely in the red, even with multiple falls, and they're over a whole track apart. Uh, random is an ice ice outpost. It's looking like it's gonna be a random win at this point. It's the point where I can say if random plays uh, competently for the rest of it, it might be too much for a comeback because there's probably about two minutes difference. So that would be 20 seconds per track. So random would have to make quite a few very large mistakes. And this is um, Ice Ice Outpost, if I didn't say that already. And it's, um, I mean, there are some like small shortcuts, like intended ones, that are really hard. And random is not going for them. Uh, I don't know if they actually save time in 200 or not, but they're definitely not easy. Um, but looking pretty good for random. Nice. Hit that, um... Gravity spinner, probably not even in 10 in there, but oh no, dance fell off. This is in lap 3, but that probably messes up cycles. Could have lapped someone though, so we were just having a good race before that. Yeah, did lap someone because still won the race even getting past at the end. <laughs> this is kind of funny. 
Um, they're on good pace. Yeah, can't deny it. Um, randoms. Um, in Hyrule Circuit now. The, the um, Zelda theme map from must have been big news when this came out. Uh, getting getting a uh, some Mario Kart DLC. With, uh, from another game. It's pretty cool. Um, must have came out, I don't know, four or five years ago at least, probably more. Gee. <laughs> okay, I, I probably, I, I don't even know. Four years maybe. And of course. It is all standard Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. E Switch. It's, there's a there's a nice shortcut for random there. I mean, not really. Didn't necessarily look like he did it perfectly, but I'm gonna look for a third lap again because there's a fairly difficult NISC here. Although, to be honest, when I say fairly difficult or easy, it's basically just on my own judgment. Maybe that's a good indicator for a beginner. Oh, so here it is. Oh, nice. Got the boost that time. So yeah, that was much better. Still in the off-road. See, that's that's the problem with it. Oftentimes, you'll go in the off-road once you actually hit it. Yeah. And over track apart again. So now, usually neither of them are on a track. Um, I have not mentioned so far this race that they are... Um, using Waluigi, and Bitty Buggy, and Rollers, I think, and I don't even remember what gliders they're using, but these are, um, this is fastest, there's a few characters that I don't know. So Random went for that quick nisk through the grass there at the very start, but missed it, because I think out of a lack of coins, it's harder to do. This is one of those places where you can see the effect, you can sort of understand it, and but yeah, this this cart provides like the optimal combination. I don't have enough things to say exactly why everything is the best, but for 48 tracks in either category, 150 or 200, that's what you want to do. So I'll check what glider Dance is using here. I'm whatever he's using. I'm sure it's one of the optimal ones, but there are plenty that are optimal and. Uh, paper glider. Okay, almost forgot. <laughs> I just said it. Alright, so... Random finishing Big Park with 9 coins. It is kind of hard to do that. Oh no, Dance Day. Uh, yeah, losing time, Baby Park, clearly. Um, as Dance Day hits the wall there, very easy place to hit the wall. If you don't have a good angle. Like, and it's hard because you don't even need a drift, you just need a slight correction of your angle with a jump or something. And now, uh, Random is in Cheeseland. They are in Crossing Cup, by the way. Started with Baby Park, which is super quick, obviously. Because um, it is seven laps in a tiny track. Pretty fun, in my opinion. And now Cheeseland has some cool stuff. There's that NISC at the start. I didn't mention it the first time, but we'll see it uh, hopefully five more times. And there's also this glider shortcut, which seems like it saves a lot of time. I haven't timed things exactly, but I know it's faster, and it looks like it saves a lot. So what I'm just doing in this right here, nice, good, not, maybe not perfect, but that was pretty good. And yeah, quite a bit of difference between them now. Yeah, pretty much no way for a comeback at this point, but they definitely both played quite well. And Dance Delay was able to start with those with that NISC. Oh, hit the wall there. That's unfortunate, so effectively just, just a lot of time and means the NISC would have been slower anyways. It's kinda weird to me that this is considered a NISC, but I guess it is. Just the cut through the grass on Baby Park, but yeah. And and I'm getting that last glider shortcut and coming to the finish here on Cheese Let It. Right. Now, 
Uh, so almost done, baby park. Still on it, so um, farther behind. Oh. Went into the red there. Now we're in my wild woods. Um, pretty fun track. Oh, a burnout. I think that's the first one of those I've seen from him. Can't yeah, have a lot of that if he wants to PB. Obviously does. Taking that left path. Um, to get those coins. Oh no! For the barrel cut, and it leads to more captures on the switch. Hmm. I hate to see it. Um. That cut. Um. Well, I go for it on 150. But uh, here on 200, it's pretty tough. It is. And probably hard to save time. Now, second lap, random going that right path. Beautifully done. And the barrel cut. Nice. That looks. It just looks so hard on 200. Of course, if you can get it consistently, which uh, random maybe can. Did mess it up first time, but. Of course, there's a lot of things you might get consistently in practice, but if you're on stream, you know, that's okay. It could be easy to mess things up. And nice. Nice one there. Tansa still has his third lap on Cheese Land. Ram's gonna finish up Wildwoods first. But this does make sense. Oh no, random. Um. How far behind is he gonna be? Ooh. Five, six seconds? It looks like he lost all of that on the Wild Woods. Well, a PB might be tough now. 129 is very much still on the table. Dansta, um, also a few seconds behind still, but, um, on the other hand, 132 is very much on the table. And Brim Guy is in Animal Crossing and he has Fall because he held ZL when he was selecting a track. That is good. Um, it's easy to forget, sort of. But Fall is good because there's no ramps there where he just was on the beach section. So it's um, like way easier. Uh oh, dance the falling off. Uh, this is so close to the end. You can, if you can hold it together for like seven more tracks. And wait, seven? Yeah, some seven. Yeah, 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 six tracks. <laughs> then uh, could maybe PB. And um, yeah, nothing, nothing all that notable in Animal Crossing other than just. Holding Z to start, so hopefully Dansa did that too, because if you do that, you can get fall. If you don't do that, you might be stuck with a, something worse. I don't know, because the ramps are kind of hard to avoid. Alright, so that's, that's the end of the crossing cup um, for random. And can't tell exactly, but looks to be just a few seconds behind PB. I have connection. I apologize. I should be back in any second, hopefully. Okay, there we go. Random on Neo Bowser City now. Uh, first track in the, the uh, Bell Cup. And another one of those tracks where you have to break drift quite a bit. And oh, looks like Random for a little on a stream, but it looked like he went too far inside. Couldn't, couldn't tell. It's maybe a weird mistake. Oh, and Dance is on Spring. So there's a lot of ramps there, so. Probably worse than summer from what I remember because summer gets I think summer's on time shows and it's only like ramps in the beach section but here on spring there's even more so kind of bad but 
I mean, odds are, if he didn't do it here, he probably didn't get um, fall during his PB either, so. Yeah, and it's, it's looking less and less likely that they're gonna PB here, because I've still been some mistakes from both of them, but, I mean, it's very possible that they have some time save, because maybe Urban Road or, or something. Did I hit a subway or something? But there is only three more tracks for random at least. Yeah, looking about seven or so seconds behind. Um, he just didn't split there. Okay. Oh, and apparently Dance does a head now. I don't know how that happened, but. Must have saved a lot of time there. Great. Now, Random is on Ribbon Road going for the UMT there. Um, shit, that's probably about the same. It's probably not any slower. I'm um, not gonna go for that shortcut as I would expect. Probably not this one either. They're super hard. Probably not worth it. And now, Dansta is also on New Brother City. Looking good so far. Ooh, that was close. That turn is one of the, probably like one top five turns where you have to break drift the most. But the one on Rainbow Road is definitely number one. And this does look good for random so far, so I doubt that he has a lot of time save here, but it's possible. So random's PB is a uh, 129.41. We're three minutes out from that right now. Wait. Maybe he's not comparing to PB. That's very possible. I've just been assuming it the whole time. So yeah, that's actually probably what's going on. But oh well, it still looked like a pretty good run. Um, probably gonna be a 130 though if I'm if I'm thinking right. Although. I think Danstop probably is comparing to PB because still has five and a half minutes for the last three tracks, which is definitely doable. So I think I don't think we're gonna see random PB, but I mean he's still gonna win, so pretty much what matters. Um, I think there's I don't know what time the other races are gonna be, but. Probably check that afterwards. Um, Alright. So, random, I think, got the good pattern. Yeah. You want. The red train to go with you couldn't even remember. I haven't played in like two weeks, but eh, I think so. Ooh, that's a good for that NISC through the grass, if that counts as a NISC. That's pretty cool. We got the UMT there. Um, yeah, it looks like the good pattern. I'm pretty sure that's. Wait. I have no idea. <laughs> oh well, he didn't hit any train or anything, and yeah. Yeah, uh, looks like he wasn't comparing against the PB, so I probably shouldn't have been thinking that the whole time, but nonetheless, this looks like a, a almost certainly a 130, although Big Blue could be tough, but anyways, yeah, we got the last F-Zero track. This was just the Bell Cup, so I don't know, Super Bell Subway, I guess is not as much symbolism there, but, but yeah. Big Blue's last F-Zero track. 
and it's got some like super cool shortcuts. So we'll see what we get from random here. And this second segment is usually quite neat segments. That's that's the first little cut there. And then after me turn into just a just a jump, not even a boost. That that made it look so much easier. I should probably try that. Um yeah, very looks good. And going on to this final lap, time is coming up. Yes, it is gonna be 130. Um right past PB, I was off on that, but nonetheless that's still not too bad. I mean it's pretty good. It's still better than other people's PPs in the tournament. Yeah. Uh 130 16. Okay. And we'll see we might be getting an interview here, but Dan's still finishing up. Danza could probably PB here, hitting the train there, that's super unfortunate. But honestly, this looks like he's probably gonna PB. Pretty sure there's enough time here. I agree. Oh, hello random. GG on the win. Hello. So, he... Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, well, I can't hear you. Sorry. Get this sorted out. Great. Okay, Dance is you know. still finishing. Oh wait, I was assuming Dance was on the last lap. Uh. Okay. Probably can still PP. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. I can. Yeah, I can. I can hear you now. Okay, good. So, so how do you feel about the race? Uh, I know you're taking a lot of captures, so maybe yeah, not I, the best. I had pretty pretty bad about the race, so. I had a lot of um, weird moments when I made mistakes that I usually don't make and, um, and most of them were pretty bad so um, yeah, I don't definitely. Really any memories anymore but um, I'm kind of confused how that was still a 130 to say the least. Yeah, you were pretty close to your PB, um, I wasn't sure, what splits were you running against? Uh, I was wrong. Running against the splits from uh, last race, uh, okay. so I corrected the start a bit because I wasn't sure about my timing and I wanted to have a slower beginning. But um, yeah, other than that, that was uh, my splits from last race. Yeah, I was just thinking you. I just assumed incorrectly that you were running against your uh, PV splits, so I was thinking you were way closer than you actually were. But <laughs> oh. yeah, no, no, I wasn't. Uh, and dance is just about to finish here, finish up here. So, I, I literally just lost connection. I'll be back and just. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, um. Um. I assume he's being has a really bad time to lose connection, but. Uh, it, yeah, he's uh, on the last straight now. So okay. Should be like a seven second PB or something. Okay. Yeah. Five second PB for him. What's up? All right, awesome. What's up? GG. <laughs> nice. What's up? Nine. 132.44. Keeping up my my consistency in PBing in literally every race that I've done so far. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You've improved by like, what, like four minutes this tournament or something? Uh, seven. <laughs> seven. Wow. wow. That's. That's, yeah, I was seated cool. higher than you even, <laughs> but you're um, super seat six. <laughs> yeah, and you're still in the finals. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I'm satisfied. <laughs> and you got 720. Didn't lose any races, so that's good. Yeah, that's that was true. pretty good. You were. Yeah. I could tell you were like pretty close to your PBL race. So yeah. I mean, how how do you feel about that run? Was it pretty good. Mm. I mean, I made so many mistakes, I fell off so often, so... I mean, my sum of best right now is a 131.10, but I think I can get a 130, a high 130 right now, if I just... I'm not that stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, sometimes. You, you definitely can. Yeah. I, I was actually worried the whole race um, that uh, you were 
right on my toes because I didn't watch um, any of your POVs, so yeah, it was kind of stressful there for me. Well, it was a uh, like two and a half minute difference, but yeah, very good so race. I, mean, I started so... off with a two and a half second Mario Kart Stadium goal, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because, nice. Minister was uh, time trialing a few tracks and he like um, easily beat my time trial times and oh wow yeah, yeah you could get well you could get a sub 130 then maybe uh, or sub yeah bring he, your sub down good. and and what happened in Grumble Volcano for me eight or seconds for oh for me for, uh, yeah I have really really practiced Grumble Volcano a lot and it was one of the tracks where I told him yeah I got this in this time I was like oh damn you beat my time by over a second or something <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah nice I mean I re you again but um, our times right now are tied with some of the top runners times so that's kind of kind of funny there and so this was just the first match of the finals. Um, we do have at least one more, but uh, do you guys know when that is going to be? No, not yet. Mm, yeah, no, not okay. yet, no. Well, we'll have that sometime. I'm just going to go ahead and check on the schedule. I think we got maybe one more match we, that's even scheduled right now since we're at the end of the tournaments. No, we, we don't have a schedule yet for it. Uh, uh, Okay, so yeah, not for you guys, but I just meant we have oh, in general. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bronze match tomorrow at 3 p.m. between BP and Neo for the um, the randomizer tournament. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, any last thoughts, guys? No, not really. All right, well, uh, GG guys, GG dance over the PV random for the win, and uh, see you guys for your next race. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.